It's been a trusted brand used at homes all across America for decades, but now Johnson & Johnson has lost yet another multi-million dollar lawsuit, which claims an ingredient in its popular baby talcum powder causes cancer. And there are more than a thousand other suits pending. Let's get more on this from NBC's Rahema Ellis. For more than a hundred years, Johnson & Johnson's baby powder has been promoted and widely accepted as safe. But now the company lost its second major lawsuit this year in a St. Louis courtroom. Johnson & Johnson was ordered to pay $55 million to 62-year-old Gloria Ristison, who said she used the company's baby powder with talcum as a feminine hygiene product for 40 years. She blamed the talcum for causing her ovarian cancer and sued Johnson & Johnson for failing to warn about the possible risks of talcum. She was using a product that she thought was per perfectly safe, had no idea that it might be dangerous, um, and that that product then had some causation for her cancer. Jurors were shown documents, plaintiff's attorneys argued, suggested Johnson & Johnson knew about the risks and downplayed them. I think that's extremely uh, uncaring, uh, showing no concern whatsoever for the safety and welfare of the people that they are selling to. The company issued a statement saying, multiple scientific and regulatory reviews have determined that talc is safe for use in cosmetic products and the labeling on Johnson's baby powder is appropriate. The American Cancer Society says the research is inconclusive, but concerned women may want to avoid using the product with talcum. If they want to use some powder, um, cornstarch would be an alternative. The company says it will appeal the case and defends the safety of its iconic baby powder. Rahima Ellis, NBC News, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.